remember the year 2020 the year where we basically had a whole pandemic we almost had world war 3 and we also got cyberpunk 2077 no like seriously like i mean it was an amazing game right like almost one game of the year okay <laughs> okay okay I'm, I'm done trolling the game i'm not gonna troll you anymore i mean there's plenty of content out there that literally trolls this game and this game has kind of done enough to try and come back from the dead i mean it om it had what a million monthly users or daily users literally just a month ago and now oh, two months ago and i mean even now it still has like a really stable user base i mean it's done enough to come back from the dead it's fixed all its bugs and it's a really good game now right because no i mean think about it for a second it's like sure i could go about and talk about how amazing cyberpunk 27 is but the truth is is it really amazing i mean sure yeah it's a really good rpg a, a nice good game but is it the game it said it was going to try and be like in all fairness again i'm trying not to throw shade on this game but the only thing that makes this game better than grand theft auto 4 is literally the fact that it has better graphics and better guns and yeah i'm saying grand theft auto 4 not 5 because grand theft auto 4 won game of the year and it was an amazing game and in all fairness when you look at cyberpunk it literally made so many promises that would kind of make it look like what grand theft auto 6 but it's not and that's what the game is it's a game that tried to fly too close to the sun and it literally got burnt the sun being the colossal giant that is rockstar gaming's grand theft auto and yeah sure i could be like okay okay you're going a bit overboard but i'm not like think about it again like the only reason cyberpunk came back from the dead was not because cyberpunk had fixed all his bugs or it was an amazing game i mean that was already being done the only reason it came back was because of the anime because when you watch cyberpunk edge runners you fell in love with this world and these characters it felt more real to you than the game and that's literally what anime always does it makes you fall in love with whatever world is trying to build and then you decided to take that same feeling go to cyberpunk and try and recapture it and maybe you did maybe you didn't but that's what made you go back to play it not because the game was better you just wanted to relive edge runners and the only reason you decided to do it is because you wanted to try and fill that gaping hole in your heart left by david and lucy you wanted to try and go and recapture that love that glory with judy and v and it really doesn't really meet up to it and sure maybe you wanted to be a playboy like me <laughs> you know i'm uh, they call me a bash you know i used to be a basher back in my day and i decided to replicate that in cyberpunk you know try and live the life out there and come on how can i be a bachelor when you only give me four bimbos man like literally four like four i mean come on cd project like you're, you're you're making me look bad out here come on and look let's not go in that far i mean sure okay you you try and look at it from that perspective and even then it's still a fair you might think four is a lot but come on i literally caught sti's in fable that tells you a story and i went to play cyberpunk and man you would swear that i was a virgin <laughs> which i'm not of course but no trust me i'm, I'm not but point is is like cyberpunk made so many promises and it failed to deliver on so many fronts and the only reason you're playing it is because you're trying to get revenge for a little lolly rage show and you try to go that route then sure you end up killing adam smash and then what's left for you afterwards i sure the game had elements to it again it's a really good rpg it's just a poor version of grand theft auto it's still a bad game when you look at how it was intended to be and what it's ended up becoming and that's why it's better to just wait for cyberpunk 2 at this point i'm not saying phantom liberty is going to be bad in fact i think it's going to be amazing i mean i get to see more keanu reeves so i don't care so it's still going to be a game i'm going to play it's just I'm not going to have the same hype or love that I had for it before it came out. Like when this game was announced, I was in high school and I'm 24 right now and waiting this long to play that game and only to be so disappointed, it kind of made me feel like, wow, okay, 2020 was a bad year. Pressure,